Being a teacher usually means putting students first. On this night, however, it's their turn to step forward and take a bow. Turn up a little bit, come on. This is Standing Ovation, honoring those who serve in DC public schools. At certain points, it's an event which resembles a star-studded gala. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for this evening, Emmy Award winner, Tim Gunn. The Hollywood Awards ceremony. I thank you all for all of the love and support that has gotten me to this stage. It has always been a dream of mine to be up here, and I'm incredibly humbled to have achieved this. Or even a talent competition. Entertainment aside, this night is all about celebrating educators in the district who have shaped the future through their work with young people. You know that DCPS is rising, but the only reason that we're rising is because we have amazing educators like you. Congratulations. The John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts plays host to the annual affair. Honoring those in public education is an issue close to Chairman David Rubenstein's heart. And all of you, as teachers or principals or administrators in the D.C. public school system should also feel that you are heeding President Kennedy's call for who are doing more for our country than those who teach in our public school system. Virtually no one. Along with this evening of recognition, 29 of DCPS's top educators are awarded cash prizes, as well as the appreciation of city leaders. Standing ovation is a splendid night that gives us the opportunity uh, to thank and celebrate uh, all the people who do so much for our children. Those achievements are possible due to the innovation and dedication to a demanding profession by these award recipients. What other profession has a job description that includes words like support, provide, engage, enrich? Those descriptors, a fitting portrayal of 2015 Teacher of the Year winner James Cunningham. He facilitated internships for his art students to faraway places from Ethiopia to Japan. I take great pride, honor, and respect in receiving this award, not for myself, but for every educator, administrator, past and or present who made this journey possible for me today. James Cunningham, now a part of that foundation, which will continue to serve DC public school students for years to come.